Now, supposedly, there's a sign outside that says 6.2 million lights, but on the website it said 10 million lights. So what's 3.8 million lights between friends? Right. Right? So there's a bat house over here. There's another bat house. There is a, um, a tree house that was built by tree house masters. So the waters here are extremely black. It's kind of freaky. I don't know about the alligator though. The gentleman said, yeah, there's alligators in there, but you're not going to see them. Um, and that's fine with us. We don't really want to see them. It's a beautiful river. Uh, it really is, I mean, if you're in the area, this is something you should come to. Even if you're not staying at the music park, come over here. Go. Hey, hey, we're the Hintons. People see us hopping around. We're too busy traveling to stop and settle down. Nailed it. We're at this, we, we're gonna get this right. The Suwanee, no, Spirit of Suwanee Music Park and Campground. Very good. Okay, so this place has over 800 acres, something like 900, 983 sites. Now that includes cabins, full hookup. Campsites and primitive campsites and partial hookups. Yeah, and it's, it's great. I was a little frustrated yesterday because I was like, I couldn't figure, I, I was struggling. And we got no brochure. Uh, we got we got basically like a little thing that for the mirror and it, it, she said, "Do you know where you're going?" <laughs> no, and we I haven't said, been here. <laughs> no, um, but we figured it out. We got a, I think a, we got a pretty good site. Things were very close, and last night it was busy. I mean, it was. Packed. I mean, every site was filled. Just about yeah. probably nine hundred out of whatever, however many he said there are, were filled, and it was a little bit loud in some areas. But over here. It was nice. It was nice and quiet. And then this morning, everybody left. So in the area... I mean, literally everybody left. There's four of us left in the spot. Yeah. And there's, I don't know, there's probably 60 sites right here. There's four. Is my beard okay? Mm-hmm. Is my breast stink? We just had tacos. I have taco <laughs> breath. Sorry. Anyway, so it's a beautiful location. And then one thing, one reason why it was so busy yesterday, Christmas lights. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna need to sit down. I'm gonna pass out. She, I'm right here. Hi. She, she had to sit down. Um, my breath was apparently that strong. No, it's migraine day. It's been four days in a row. Sometimes it's not. If you're a migraine sufferer, you can travel, but. Some days you just have to stay home and hang out until it goes away. Yeah. But tonight, okay, so tonight we're doing the Suwanee lights. Yes, I purchased the tickets online. Um, if you purchase them online, you get a discount. If you purchase them at the door, it's like two or three dollars more. Um, we got the military discount, so it was like six dollars for each of us, and Corbin was three. So the whole thing cost us what? It was fifteen dollars total $15. because we had to pay for the truck too. Now supposedly, there's a sign outside that says six point two million lights, but on the website it said ten million lights. So what's three point eight million lights between friends? Right. Right. Um, but we're going to go do that. It's supposed to be about two miles long. It loops through, like they've closed down a lot of the campground and you could see them from here. Um, but we're going to go do that tonight. Yay. I love Christmas. I love Christmas lights. I love Christmas music. I love Christmas presents. So I there's our decoration Christmas. right there. <laughs> but we're doing Christmas at Disney and we're actually staying in a condo. So we don't really, we didn't decorate because well, we're not even going to be in the trailer. So, right. all right, let's go look at some Christmas lights. There's our frog. Okay, 
Okay, that was fun. <laughs> it was fun. It was like 20 minutes driving through, um, lights everywhere, millions of lights, beautiful. Mm -hmm. Literally millions, anywhere between 6.2 and 10. Yep, and they have a, their own radio station, so you can listen to the Christmas music. We put it on the um, we had a, Sirius XM, yeah. so we just had it on Christmas Channel. But. So it was, it was a little static in parts. And then when you get to the end, they actually have a whole area where they've got, so at the country store, there's uh, food, there's, I think there's got arts and crafts and things They'll for sale. They'll have Santa on some of the weekends coming up, getting closer towards Christmas, so the kids can see Santa. Yeah. We didn't do that because, well, we can just walk right over there. We'll probably walk over tomorrow night yeah. and hang out. So and They do have a little walkthrough section where they have their own little walkthrough light section. So. Mm -hmm. So if you really enjoy this, make sure you give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and notification bell. So you know when the next video is coming out. This has got to be one of my all-time favorite views at an RV park. There's nobody here. So we had, there was uh, two more RVs next to us. They're gone. There's one over on the other side, um, about two spaces down. I think there's maybe one or two over in another part, but there's nobody here and it's amazing. Like you walk out and this is what you have. So we were supposed to go canoeing today and Susanna's migraine is not going away. So we're gonna push it off till tomorrow, which hopefully the weather holds because tomorrow is supposed to be like rainy. Today is supposed to be like, this is it. This is beautiful, it's 75 degrees. And this RV park has a whole lot of like unique places. So there's a bat house over here. There's another bat house. There is a, um, a tree house that was built by tree house masters. I haven't been able to find it yet. And even if I do, well, I'm gonna go, we, we may, Corbin and I may try to find that today. Uh, there's a canoe outpost, which is where you, know, you go canoeing. Um, there's the general store, stuff like that, that I've already been into. And it's got just about everything you need. Um, there's just a lot of stuff. So, we may go explore the park today and we'll bring you along and show you that. So the Spirit of Suwanee Music Park and Campground. It's interesting. So I'm over at the bat house. There's, I think there's actually a couple more, but this is the big one. And as you approach the bat house, you'll notice the, uh, the smell, which is kind of strong. You can hear them inside if you're really quiet. I'll, I'll put the camera over here so you can hear them. It sounds like there's quite a few in there. And judging by underneath here, it looks like they've uh, been here for a while creating their guano mountain. But I, I bet it really helps with the bugs, which may be why they're doing it. Because um, I imagine, you know, it's kind of a swampy area in, in some parts, so I imagine they get quite a bit of mosquitoes around here. So we're out just kind of walking around today. Suzanne decided she didn't want to get out even though her head's pounding. I don't know how people just do stuff like survive with migraines. I get a little headache and I'm down. Um, anyway, so we did finally find the tree and it's pretty cool. It's all blocked off though. I don't know if it's like shut down or for the winter or what. Um, we haven't been able to find any information on it really, but we were able to see, it does have air conditioning, does have electrical, does have plumbing. So you could stay there or live there or do something in there. And now we're down at the river trail. So they have a bunch of trails and stuff at the RV park. This one goes along, interestingly enough, the river. Uh, so we're gonna take this for a little ways and kind of check out the river tomorrow we're going to go canoeing so we'll be able to see it from the water side we're going to take you along the trail side 
I said they do geocaching. That was cache number four. Oh, they do geocaching in the park? Yeah. Maybe that's something we should get into. Did you still want to get into that? Sure. Do some geocaching? Sure. Maybe we could, your mom and I could find uh, like your smile and then we'll let you go find it. That's another bat house. What's that? We're going on a canoeing trip down the Suwannee River. We are going on a canoeing trip down the Suwannee River. So Susanna's still uh, dealing with migraines. So it's just little dude and I today. And so we're going to the Suwannee Canoe Outpost, which is actually inside the Suwannee, or Spirit of Suwannee Campground, Music Park, the whole shebang. Gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Corbin's not helping me at all. <laughs> so while we row, row, row our boat gently down the Suwannee River, I'm going to give you some Suwannee River facts. So the Suwannee River runs about 246 miles. It starts up in Georgia and makes its way south into and through Florida. And it actually used to be a part of a, I guess it was a separation of the Florida Panhandle from the rest of Florida. It's kind of cool. So the waters here are extremely black. It's kind of freaky. Um, but that black is actually from the breakdown of all the vegetation. So, I mean, the, the river is surrounded by oaks and all sorts of other trees and plant life. And so that breaks down in the water at the bottom and gives it that dark tannic look. The Suwannee River averages only about six and a half feet deep, uh, except for during you know the rainy seasons and stuff. Um, I guess at its deepest, it's about 20, 22 feet. Why is the Suwannee River so popular? Well, it's actually one of the towns along its banks became Florida's first tourist attraction. It's called White Springs. And the town of White Springs is actually where uh, the Stephen Foster Folk Cultural Center, and I probably got that completely wrong because it's such a long name, but that's where that is uh, located. Corbin and I went worse. to that the other day. Another reason that the Suwannee River is so popular is Stephen Foster's most famous song. Uh, I'll put a name to it up here, but um, he sings about this river. And this one, and that song, excuse me, is uh, the Florida State song, which is kind of cool. Some of the wildlife that you might see here, we haven't seen anything other than a bird and maybe some turtle bubbles. So there's uh, white-tailed deer, uh, there's otters, eagles, something of a vole. I don't know what a vole is. We'll have to figure that out. But and then the Gulf sturgeon. If you've never seen a sturgeon, it is like this really cool prehistoric looking fish. Um, but I guess you can find them in these waters. They are protected. Um, and they do get rather large. I was Googling, can you swim in the Suwannee River? And they said, yes, you can. It's not all that dangerous. Um, you do have to watch out. The sturgeon don't bite. They do jump and apparently some uh, fishermen have gotten injured by getting hit by a sturgeon. I don't know about the alligator though. The gentleman said, yeah, there's alligators in there, but you're not going to see them. Um, and that's fine with us. We don't really want to see them. All right. So the Suwannee Canoe Outpost is located inside of the Spirit of Suwannee Music Park and Campground. Uh, and they offer a ton of different trips. 
anywhere from a couple miles up to a 13 miler. And then they also do pickups for like if you want to do a week long trip, whatever. And he said that they'll do like anything along the Suwannee River, any distance, whatever, they'll they'll help you plan it and get you taken care of. So for our package, we paid $49 and we did the six mile, uh, which they said approximately three hours. So $49, they drove us out, you get the canoe, you get the paddles. You can do kayaks and those are $39 a boat. And I don't know if they have a two man boat or not, but they do recommend that you bring a cooler. Oh, there are life vests. Mine's right in front of me. Corbin's wearing his. Um, they do recommend bringing a cooler with lunch and stuff. So we've got that. The big reason why we did this trip, when I walked down to the river the other day, I said, this is a beautiful river. This is, and it's so different from any other river we've ever seen. You know, we've been in a few other rivers. We've, I've kayaked some rivers. Uh, we went rafting in Oregon. Um, it's just different. I don't think I want to fly fish in this river. I don't think I really want to stand in this river. It's just that whole black dark water thing. Call me a sissy. Corbin, I think we are approximately like a third of the way there. People see us hopping around. We're too busy traveling to stop and settle down. Nailed it. I got it, I got it. Yeah, that's good right there. Good job. 12.54. It took us less than three hours. We only did one stop though. We could have done more stops, but We're it's not. just such a nice time just rowing. It's a beautiful river. Uh, it really is, I mean, if you're in the area, this is something you should come to. Even if you're not staying at the music park, come over here. Um, I'll put the information up here somewhere so you can check them out. Now I'm going to get out and drag a canoe. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. We'd love to share our journey with you. So hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell so you know when a new video is uploaded. And don't forget to leave your comments down below and hit the like button.